Hello everyone, welcome to another healthy snacks video. To be a snack. <laughs> I got you. I tried most of these recipes a few times just to perfect it. Okay, I tried. So we're gonna have lava cake, which is high in protein. Then typical lava cake, we're gonna have protein bowl, which is higher in protein than my older protein bowl. And we're also gonna have a date snack, which is high-ish in protein. And also we're gonna have a frozen yogurt that's higher in protein. So everything is higher in protein today. Before we start, please smash that thumbs up button. Get us to 110,000 likes please i know you guys can do it you guys did it for one of my videos recently i really really appreciate it. it it means the world to me that you guys like the video comment on the video and share the video share the video <laughs> and let's start so we're gonna be making our lava cake and we're gonna start with oat flour today's lava cake is gonna be gluten free so we're gonna use 100 grams of oats okay whatever doesn't have to be that accurate and then we're gonna be using lupin flour so i've used this a lot of times if you guys have seen my older videos you know what this is this is super high in protein and high in fiber so it's gonna keep you full we're gonna use 50 grams of this so if you don't have lupin flour you could replace it with some protein powder or just more oats and we're gonna add some sweetener so the sugar that i normally use is from this brand not this blend i normally use the zero calories one so i'm gonna use a about 70 grams of this but i'm gonna use a bit of both this and stevia just because i get a little bloated from the sweetener sometimes so that's the reason why i like stevia a little bit more because stevia doesn't bloat me and again stevia is sugar free and zero in calories and it's natural and we're gonna use two tablespoons of cocoa powder and this has been processed so that's the reason why it's called cocoa not cacao you know what i'm just gonna add a little bit more chocolate just a little, little tiny bit more and we're gonna add some a teaspoon of baking powder i'm gonna have about 100 grams of banana i don't think you should add anything more than that because then your cupcake or your lava cake is gonna taste like banana and you don't want a lava cake to taste like banana it's just weird that's about 100 grams now we're gonna add a bit of lemon juice in here some lemon juice ugh, and some vanilla extract very very good and we're gonna have about 180 grams of any sort of plant-based milk you want to use you can start slow if you're not using lupin flour then you don't have to add as much milk maybe 160 grams just because lupin flour is very very absorbent <laughs> I swear I used 160 grams the other day and it was too dry and I feel like it's too wet right now. What the hell is going on? I want a little bit more chocolate. I like it chocolatey. Always adjust it based on how you like it. You can always add an egg or a bit more protein. You can always add an egg. You can always add an egg if you want more protein there. But I don't think I wanna. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you see? Okay, now I'm gonna transfer this into this cupcake mold. I feel like this is not chocolatey enough, you guys. I'm gonna add more cacao powder in here just because I really, really like chocolate-based stuff. I want ah! This is not too high in calories because it's like there's only 100 grams of oats and 50 grams of um, lupin flour, which is super low in calories anyway. And spread it across six cupcakes. That's like not much at all. And now for the fun part, we're gonna add some chocolate blocks in here. So I've made this. I melted all these chocolates. They're all vegan. So I melted using the microwave. <laughs> I couldn't be fucked. So I melted these and put it in the mold and I'm just gonna pop these chocolates in here. So if you think having too much chocolate is not good for you, that's what you think. You don't have to add too much chocolate. You could add just one block or two blocks or three blocks. For me, I personally would add a little bit more than that. So this milk chocolate is from this brand. I melted it and now I'm gonna just squish it into my cupcake. Okay, let's push it in. Ooh, that's so satisfying. Can you see that? All right, here's a dark chocolate one. So if that's too much for you, then just cut it down. Or just like two little blocks of chocolate in there. Just play around with it, guys. Like you don't have to follow what I do exactly. And now we're going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and we're done. Why are you running? The cupcake is done, you guys. Let's try this dark chocolate cupcake. Oh, this looks so good. This is so melty. This is insane. Like how perfect can it get? 
This is so good. It's so moist. The cake is so moist and the chocolate melts really well. Mm. This is using this no sugar chocolate. Chocolate sauce. These cupcakes are so bloody good. Mm. So we've got some frozen yogurt, some frozen banana, some stevia, and some protein powder if you want to, and some chocolate powder, cacao or cocoa powder. And that's it. It's better easy. I'm gonna pop the froyo in here. It's just so frozen. I can't even get it out. Ooh. What the hell? Let's go for about... Let's go with 200 grams. And some frozen banana. About 100 grams. You can have a little bit less if you want a little bit less carbs. You know, some protein powder. Let's go with uh, one scoop. We're gonna add the chocolate powder later. Sorry. Let's blend this up. What? What? Is this broken? It says E31. What does that even mean? Error? <laughs> Smells like it's burning up. The machine is just like, nah, 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 this is not cool. I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk. It's just too frozen. Mmm, oishi. I have more froyo in little blocks. Little froyo bites. <laughs> I can't do it. Don't do this, guys. You don't want to break your teeth, okay? This is the yogurt I'm using. You can use any other yogurt. Guys, I'm so full. This thing is so good. The banana is to make it more creamy instead of icy. So that's the reason why I added banana in there. But if you're watching your carb intake, you can exclude the banana and have icy frozen yogurt. Mm. Very good. I'm seriously so full right now. All right, you guys, I got something to show you. Up and down plank, plank gang. It's my merch. It's coming soon. There's about 20 designs. There's jumpers, t-shirts, crop tops, crop tanks, tanks. There's gonna be joggers too and shorts. So there's a bunch of stuff. And I'm so, so excited because this is like my first clothing merch, which I work so hard on. Like it's been a year since I started designing like the first design. And to it took us a long time to find someone that could make it the way we want it to be. So it's gonna be available in about a month for pre-order. I'm so excited. I really love the designs. I think they are super kawaii. Kawaii ne. I'm gonna wear this now and show you guys how it looks like on me. I'm super bloated right now from all the foods. There you go. This is it. This is the crop top. Super cute. Okay, let's move on to the next recipe because it's not about my merch, it's about the snacks. Okay, we're gonna make stuffed dates with protein cookie dough. We're gonna start with the protein cookie dough. We've got a can of chickpeas and then we're gonna use some protein powder, some almond butter and some sweetener and some salt. Very easy, very simple. All right. Ooh, ah! That's everything I need. So we got our chickpeas, a can, which is about 240 grams. And we're gonna use 60 grams of almond butter, two tablespoons approximately. You can add a little bit more almond butter if you want to, but I don't want it to be super caloric. You know what I mean? We're gonna use some protein powder. We're gonna go for 50 grams. Okay, this smells really good. It smells like peanut butter. Is this the Sacha Inchi? I have no idea how to pronounce this. This is the Sacha Inchi powder. It's a plant-based protein powder apparently it has a lot of benefits i think this is so much nicer than pea protein powder based on smell and taste 50 grams of the set so that is about three tablespoons that's right people and then now we're gonna add some stevia you can use honey maple syrup you can use other sweetener that you prefer like monk fruit i just really like this stevia i think this tastes pretty good and then now we're gonna blend them together we can use a little bit of salt as well why not but there's salt in my almond butter so i don't think we need it but let's blend the shit up let me try it mm, this is pretty good but i think i want it a little bit more sticky so i'm gonna add a little bit of protein almond milk i should measure this just a little bit I just want it to be a little bit more moist. If you want it to be a bit more sticky, you can always add more almond butter or some sort of syrup, like brown rice syrup, maple syrup, or honey. Honey is really good to make them stick together and some dates if you prefer. Dates is actually a good idea to just chuck it in here and just make it sticky. Now, we're gonna just take the dates, split it open. This is pitted. Take one of these bowls, you can just squish them together and then pop it in here. And that's it. Easy. And then we're gonna drizzle some chocolate sauce on top later. Actually, you know what? I wanna have a bite. Mm. This is really good, guys. Mm. You don't even need the chocolate sauce. It's so good. Mm. 
if you can't be bothered, stuff some nut butter in here. It's gonna be less in protein, it's gonna be more in fat, it's gonna be more calorie dense. But you know, sometimes if you can't be bothered, you could just take the easy way out, I suppose. <laughs> But if you don't like the taste of chickpeas, maybe you won't like it. But I love chickpeas, I love dates, I love almond butter. So this is perfect dough for me. And now I'm just gonna melt some chocolate sauce and drizzle on top. I'm gonna use vegan chocolate chips. This is not chocolate chips, but just chocolate pieces. Oh yes, yes. You guys know how much I love chocolate, so this is perfect. Oh, it's not looking very pretty, honestly. This looks like crap, you guys. <gasps> you know what? I'm just gonna put a lot. <laughs> I like chocolate so much. This is my stuffed date with protein cookie dough and chocolate sauce. Mmm, mmm. This is so good. <laughs> I'm just eating the cookie dough. It's so good. Mm. Okay, for the last recipe, we are making some protein balls And as you guys know, I have the best balls out there So if you're watching your calorie intake, try today's version It's gonna be less fat and more protein And that's the reason why less calories Let's do this, let's do this We are gonna have 150 grams of dates You can soak them first, but this is juicy These are some juicy dates we are gonna have some hazelnuts just because I like hazelnuts the most. It's also the highest in calories, so if you are watching your calories, you can always use almonds. 80 grams of this. And then we're gonna have 70 grams of protein powder. Just use your favorite protein powder. Like I said, it smells like peanut butter, so this is really great. I'm still gonna add a little bit of stevia because I feel like it's not gonna be sweet enough. The hazelnut shouldn't be in here first because I don't want it to turn mushy. I want it to be like crunchy. That's the whole purpose of putting the hazelnut in there. I think when I record videos, my brain just can't function. Or maybe it just doesn't function on a daily basis. So not gonna lie, this is really annoying. I think that's enough. I can just leave the rest in there. Now we're gonna blend this up. Use a little bit of almond milk. Oh, that's so much better now. Now the hazelnuts. Something is definitely wrong with me today. I can't function. I forgot about my cacao powder. Two tablespoons. If you can't be bothered, you can just have it on its own. But you can also wrap it in fruits. So you take one of these freeze-dried strawberries and then you just wrap it around it. Oh my god, this is so fragile, so you just gotta be quite careful. Just wrap it around your strawberry. This is a little bit drier than before. So when you're trying to watch your calorie intake or have snacks that are lower in calories, they're generally lesser in fat. And that's when things are not gonna be as sticky. But you can always use milk or something else to make it a little bit more sticky. You can put a little strawberry in there and make it into a little strawberry protein ball. So it's not like the regular protein ball. It's just teeny tiny bit more fun. You can always soak your date first and that's gonna make it a lot more sticky But I just couldn't be bothered today And now I'm gonna make another version that I made a while ago But now it's less in calories because of the base over here It's the one that has hazelnut butter in there like Nutella. It's really 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 good I really like the original recipe But this version now is gonna be a little bit less in calories because there's less nuts and also this protein powder So make it into like a pancake <laughs> Pancake, like a little bowl. Add your hazelnut butter in there. Um, I think one scoop is enough. If you want a little bit more, you can. If you're happy to take more calories, then you can add more butter. You can always adjust it based on your macro. If you want to have more protein, then add more protein powder. But of course, like you have to do it in moderation because if you add too much of something else and too little of something, sometimes it just tastes like shit. So this is the hazelnut bowl that has Nutella inside. Very good. So that's the biggest one, biggest bowls. Let's cut this one open. Little strawberry in there. Mmm, mm. this is so satisfying. That was a big cooking session. I'm tired again. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also for my merch, it's gonna be available in about a month and the pre-order will be starting soon. So do check out my website. It's gonna be all on my website, sorry. Anyways, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. Comento, comento. It's really, really important, please. And also like the video. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. And thanks so much for the recent support. I know you guys have been helping out with the likes and comments 
comments and I really really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So thank you so much. And the new program is coming out in two days as you watch this video. So I hope you guys enjoy the new summer shirt challenge and arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs>